Hey everybody, welcome to CSS Hacks for the wonderful elements of Page Builder in WordPress and today we're going to be talking about pseudo elements. But before I kick off, I just want to mention again that I'm using the Onion Skin Hack UI and if you hang around to the end, I'll give a little bit more information on how to get your hands on it. So kicking straight off, we're going to get into the before and after pseudo elements which allows us to put content around items such as this text widget and what we've done is we've replaced some font awesome icons now you might think it's great but why not just use the block widget that comes in elementor well it's a fabulous widget with the tweet functionality but i do find that if you're not using the tweet it's got some limited styling options so this is a way of making your own so let's jump straight in. We're going to use this main section to put our code into just to keep it in some place, but we can put it anywhere we like. And by the end of it, you're probably going to want to move it over into your style sheet within your theme so you can apply these classes everywhere. So let's jump over to the advanced tab, go to the custom CSS where I've already got my first bit of code in place where I'm specifying my prefixed initialed class of DB quote and I'm targeting the P tags that any element that has that class applied to it and I'm creating the before and the after element with those two statements and then I'm moving on by giving it its first property which is the content property which allows you to place different content in via CSS now you can't do HTML you can't do code you can't do short codes but you can put text strings in place you can replace it and put an image URL and place images into your content you can also do data attributes which is far too technical and geeky at this particular point in time but we've just started with a text string so let's see how this works when we then take our DB quote class without the full stop and move it over to this text widget we have down here so let's click on that and go to the advanced and paste it in and what we'll see immediately is our content from the content property has been pasted in before text and after text so let's now add some font awesomeness to that so let's jump back up to our section where we have our code go back to the advanced tab and what we need to do is we need to specify the font family we want to use and also start to style that so what we're going to do is going to bring in our next piece of code which will do that to both the before and after properties and the way we've specified that is exactly the same as above but we're using a comma delimiter between the two so we say all of the properties will apply to both the before and after element and you can immediately see that the text has now jumped up at 40 pixels in size and 10 pixels of padding so now how do we turn these into font awesome icons so we go back to our content and remove the text string and the first thing we're going to do is put in a forward slash which specifies this is going to be some unicode so now jump on over to the font awesome library within the icons menu and move down and we're looking for once we've done our search to find this particular unicode which you may need your trifocals for so let's just copy that and bring that over and paste it between the two quotes in, in front of the forward slash and there we can see we'll get our first font awesome icon now let's do that for the second one forward slash and it's f10e for my memory and there we go we've got our two quotes but the styling looks a bit bad so how do we fix that is we're going to target just the db quote p tag and turn it into a flex container and this allows us to easily center and control the content so let's just get that piece of code in there and the minute we apply it we can see that we now have vertically centered content and that's a very simple line of code which displays flex the align items is what allows us to justify it to the center we could move it to the top or the bottom as an alternative and we'll apply a little bit of padding so there we go we've got our block quote already in place and all the other styling has been done through the elemental widget and we can just add and change the content as we feel fit and we don't have to worry about the before and afters and when we rescale and resize that particular column or that widget we find that the content remains vertically centered so that's pretty bloody brilliant so that's a very simple thing and now we can use those classes anywhere we like we've got the code in one place but let's apply it to this text widget where we've got two p tags solely by the line break we'll specify that so let's move over put the db quote class into there and let's see what happens now everything within it has grabbed hold of these quote marks which may not be what you want unless because you're creating big strings of quotes which might be what you're up to but that's one other mechanism you use it just means you can apply the class to any element on this page because that's currently where the code is once you move the code to your theme you can then apply that class to any 
the text widget element on any single page whatsoever. So let's just show another thing where we might want to specify just a bit of the text. So we can use a span tag. So down here I have another slight alteration of the tag of the code where I'm going to specify span tag. So if I jump into the text editor and move from visual to text, I can then specify a span tag. And the minute I do so, I see all of the text because it self closes is now wrapped in my new block quote. So let's just close that off. And now we can actually just highlight an element of text. That's a great way of highlighting text. However, since WordPress 4.8, they brought out the new tiny MC editor and then completely mess things up because what happens when I move from text to visual, it strips it of the HTML. So I lose it. And the problem being as well with the element at all is what will happen is let's just put those tags back in again. Let's just put an open one for the time being. Sorry, let's just put it in the right place to start with, which is in the text editor. And we get that back again and it stays on the screen. And there we go. It's quite great. But the minute we click on this text widget, guess what? It moves us to the visual editor and the thing disappears again. So as we can see, we've got an easy way now of applying block quotes to any of our content. We can quite easily go and get different font awesome icons like we have here. So that's it for about using pseudo before and after elements for doing this simple process. In coming up tutorials, I'll be showing other uses for them for creating images and overlays, etc., as well as using the the pseudo classes such as hover, as you can see here. So hopefully this has inspired you to learn a little bit more about CSS and use it in Elementor to create something unique for your own. So just to finish off my little teaser, which was in regards to the onion skin hack that's been used here to hopefully make it a little bit more visible as to what I've been working on. It makes my life a damn sight easier. Well, if you're interested in that particular hack, I'll be releasing some more information on this in the next couple of days. And the way I'm going to do it is via the Elementor Facebook community. So if you're already not a member of the Elementor group, then join as quickly as you can. It's a great bunch of individuals that can help you with lots of things in regards to Elementor. So don't don't just go there because I'm going to offer the onion skin hack for via that mechanism. But it's a great community. So that's all from me from this time. Until next time, 